welcome to your daily video. I hope all of you are doing well. Thank you for tuning in. So I'm going to go ahead and start on your message. I hope you had a great solar eclipse yesterday. I know I did. Um, I definitely felt the veil lifting and there was a lot of really positive energies coming through, even though it was Libra. Uh, Libra's fair. I like Libra for the most part. <clears throat> Except for when it's unattainable. I mean, I don't know. But for the most part, I like Libra. So let's see here. Spirit Angels. Show us for the first house of Zodiac, Aries. You're tired. Um, some of you are almost... It's like working too hard or, you know, nearing burnout. But you don't want to give up on something because it matters a lot. Other people are kind of in the way right here. Um, they feel the same and they're, you know, involved in this too. But you're like, you're tired of dealing with these, this group or it's exhausting almost. There's an earth sign, could be someone younger. Possibly um, inexperienced. It could be a child. Wow, we have a new coin coming for you here. Ace of the Pentacles. Something that you can use as a foundation or to start a foundation. There is a Nine of Cups here. Um, let's see, what's coming in for Aries? You have a new gift, a new opportunity. the death card okay so we have something here about a change a transformation a change Scorpio life cycle energy right away I heard I feel like you've got this like you've got this no matter what it is like there's a change here coming and what is in the future position you'll get to walk away from something that um, you did care very much about, but you'll get to move on to something else that is much more satisfying. So this could be anything, like jobs, moves. You're following your heart. At this moment in time, you're in this energy of, I want to follow the facts. Like, I don't quite know what to, what to choose based on the information I have. Something's missing. I knew it. You're coming into a Nine of Cups. Okay, so there could be a party, a celebration, um, a, a gathering. You have me fond memories that you're wanting to use. You have fond memories or people. I think it's you have fond memories. Wow, you're coming in sovereign as the emperor. So the outcome is the emperor. You're sovereign. You have ownership over your own power over your own self. I don't feel like you're physically leaving anything, but you might be. But Eight of Cups is like, I've put space or distance. I've walked away. On your mind is a death, so it's some kind of change, closing a door, ending a cycle. The reason being is there is a new opportunity here. Um... You just, you're in a two of swords though. You don't know the world. There's a great achievement. You've had to fight back or defend your ground. And there's a 10 of cups. So there's a lot of emotions invested. This is the end of this cycle. Um, maybe you're dealing with people you've known a long time. Ten of Cups is the completion. So it can be, well, you know, complete happiness. But with some defensive energies and walking away, it says to me that there's something that you've been in for like a very long time. Seven of Cups and the Devil. Okay, so there's something confusing about uh, a situation that's toxic or um, some kind of toxic energy. 
Yeah, so you've had to defend yourself against a situation. What is this Ten of Cups then? The Hermit card. Something's being exposed or revealed. Someone has the knowledge and the wisdom and they're exposing it, shining the lamp on it. Bringing in this change. You have Six of Cups as your hope. You want to have fond memories of a situation. Okay. So... For you, Aries, it looks like you are, your current energy is, or the current energy is not wanting to give up, persistent. Um, it matters to you very much. The problem is the other people, for some reason. Um, there's something here that you don't have the information, you just don't know. It could be a tough choice for you as well. Um, there's an, a person here, an earth sign, or someone who's going to deliver the message about this new opportunity, this new pentacle. And around you, we have a nine of water. Personal satisfaction, maybe parties, fun, good times, having a good time, all of this energy is around you. Okay, so you're becoming sovereign here, emperor. How do you become sovereign? You've had to defend yourself against other people. There is uh, this death card. There is some uh, something about a change. And then you move on. Eight of Cups, you're like, this isn't for me. I'm going to follow my heart. My feelings are important. And something is exposed or revealed through this Hermit card. Now, I was thinking, how important are feelings? Because sometimes I think, well, feelings can change. But if your feelings are the same over a long period of time with this Ten of Cups and the Devil and the Seven of Water, this is like, I don't know what to choose. I don't know what to do. There's a lot for me to consider. Um, having to fight back against others here. Not having information. Being left out of the loop, maybe even. Um, there's just something here where you're saying... Like emotions, if you're really unhappy for a long period of time, you can actually become physically ill because you're so unhappy. So this looks like you're following your heart to become sovereign in some manner. Um, it does come in with the world, which is a great accomplishment. So you're coming in as accomplished. Let's see, what is it? What is this Two of Swords for Aries? Why is that there? Eight of Rods all at once. One direction. Taking off. Um, travel and flights, maybe? Maybe texts? What is the Nine of Cups? Yeah, there's, okay, so there's something about, like, a fight at a party or a fight a, at a party. This is, like, a celebration where there's a fight. Why is there a devil? There's words that are said and things that are talked about. The devil is strength to endure the page of swords, a very immature, petty, um, snitch, liar, gossip, troublemaker, something like that. You're having to defend yourself against this energy. What is this death card? Why is it there? Four of swords. No talking. No discussion. It's over. Why are you eight of cups here, Aries? Why are you walking away? The fool. Because you want to be free. You want to be liberated. You don't want to be held back. You don't want to be... In this sort of turmoil, um, there's something about freedom, liberation, new beginnings, uh, sovereignty sort of um, burdens this energy of feeling exhausted, tired, putting up with things you don't like, um, persistent, the warrior on the battlefield. There is a king of swords here, Gemini, they were Aquarius. What is this person doing? Nine of coin, independent energy, doing something on your terms. The Chariot going forward fast, the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands. 
There's a lot of kings, so there's a lot of leaders, and someone feels left out in the cold. It looks like a water sign. Um, there's a queen of earth and a tower. It looks like someone here rushes in with some words. Maybe they're annoyed or angry. All right. So show us any other messages for Aries. What do they need to see or acknowledge, please? Show us energies for Aries. The Lover's card. I think I pulled that one. Gemini Feminine. Ace of Water and an Air Sign. Strong, powerful feelings. The Cup of Emotions overflows. Something is offered. Here's the Hermit. Again, Page of Cups and Water. There's this exchange of messaging, feelings are exchanged. We also have this Knight of Coins. Somebody's making the offer of the Pentacle. And we have the heroes. You're very like proud of yourself or you're gonna feel proud of yourself. It could also be some kind of public announcement. Why are you the emperor here? You're sovereign over yourself. A queen of water, a Pisces Cancer, or a Scorpio feminine. A four of coins, someone's holding back, being very cautious, not wanting to take any chances. But then we have here nine of cups and star card, letting go and healing, recovery, um, feeling happy, something is resolved. What's the death about? The Seven of Cups. Something was confusing, confusing about a couple or a relationship. What is the, the Fool and the Eight of Cups? Ten of Water. Invest, inv emotions over a long period of time. Family, friends, community, people you've known for a while, leaving a situation behind to start something fresh. What is this hermit doing? The hermit's exposing maybe a health issue or the hermit's exposing the discovery of someone who is very exhausted, feeble, or it's the main energy for you. So this is trying really hard or feeling really burnt out. Someone's going to expose that. The Empress. Someone's giving you a pentacle. It's like joining a team or a group. What is this pentacle Aries is getting? Eight of Swords. Worried about it. But you're getting this Ace of Pentacles. You're getting... Included in something, gifted, rewarded. But look, Eight of Cups, it's like you don't feel like you want to do something because there's a Five of Swords or someone who is angry or blaming or just over overtly hostile. Um, and this causes you pain because you want to do something on your own terms and you can't because there's something here about a fight amongst people. Um, you're going to come in as Sovereign. You're ignoring, ignoring any gossip or conversations that are just going to bring you stress, which could come in from a page of swords, which is like a person who is a snitch or um, is a gossip. It could even be an in and a person who doesn't really have the facts, um, like a troublemaker. So you're walking away to start something new with the pool. Something is exposed. We got a rebirth. This is a Yuletide energy. Nice. A rebirth. And that's really like the fool. Um, and the death. Having a strong awakening. All of this could have been from the solar eclipse.
Protection of the Magic Circle of Salt. Um, you can put salt around. Don't take a bath in salt like I did. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Only use like bath salts that are meant for the bath. I would not. Don't use table salt. Oh man. Uh, we got the cloak of concealment. Something has been concealed. Something's being hidden. Cloaked. Incubation period. And we have the imagination to air. So there could be something on your mind that you've been thinking about, imagining. Um, Thinking of possibilities and ideas. We've got now Witch's Healer, which is really important. Um, if some of you are sharing information about healing, about ideas about healing, the Witch as Healer. Usually it's like botanical or herbal. The Hearth of Homecoming. So something about the comfort and the safety of home, making your home comfortable, um, foods, having like um, comfort foods, nourishing your soul, keeping yourself protected. Maybe you need to cloak and conceal. Maybe you need to just do like, there's these invisibility spells you can do to see if it can make yourself like where people don't notice you. I've never done it. I don't know, but... A lot of new energies coming in here. The awakening, the rebirth of the Yule. I like that. Okay. All right. Well, Aries, I'm going to leave it here for you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.